Everybody panic. It's time to verify an identity. I know how much you guys love these, but hey, what we're going to do is we're going to use sum to product formulas. Why? Because I see a sum up here, and I see a sum down here. And we're going to use those sum to product formulas to simplify the numerator first, and then the denominator second. And when we get done, I bet we end up with the tangent of 2t. We just need to show that the left side is actually going to be simplified down to tangent of 2t. Okay? The sum to product formulas make this not that bad of a problem. So let's start with just the numerator. If I'm looking at the numerator, what I can do is I can consider this to be u, and I can consider this to be v. And that's what I'm going to do first, just the numerator, right? And so if I go and I look for the sum to product formula, I'm looking for a sine plus a sine. That means I'm going to use this top formula here, right? And so I can rewrite this as a product, and that's important because tangent is sine over cosine. So I want to turn everything into sines and cosines, right? Okay. 2 sine of u plus v all over 2, cosine of u minus v all over 2. Let's replace u and v with t and 3t. That would be 2 sine of t plus 3t all over 2, cosine of t minus 3t all over 2. There's the numerator. I'm going to switch pins for a second. I'm going to do some blue. Notice that I have the same u and v for the bottom, except I'm doing cosine and cosine that I'm adding together. That changes the formula slightly. Cosine plus cosine. I look at the formula sheet, and it turns out that it's 2 cosine cosine. You can see the adjustments, right? Instead of sine cosine, it's cosine cosine. Same idea. So using the formula sheet as a guide, I see 2 cosine u plus v which is t plus 3t all over 2, cosine of t minus 3t all over 2. That is equal to the tangent of 2t. That's how far I've gotten so far, right? Baby steps. So I've replaced this with a product. I've replaced the bottom with the product. Now why did I do that is because you can see then that the top simplifies down to 2 sine of 4t over 2 is 2t cosine of t minus 3t is negative 2t. Negative 2t divided by 2 is just negative t. There's the top. The bottom simplifies down to 2. Cosine of t plus, two, plus 3t is 4t. 4t over 2 is 2t. And on the bottom I have cosine of t minus 3t, which is negative 2t. Negative 2t divided by 2 is negative t. That's equal to the tangent of 2t, baby steps, right? Why is this important? Because now I see the 2's go away. A cosine of negative t goes away. I'm left with sine over cosine of 2t. So I say this, sine over cosine is tangent. Tangent of 2t equals tangent of 2t. If you really want to impress your math teachers, you put the therefore symbol. Circle it, and we're done. You're not that bad, right? It's just a matter of using the sum to product formulas, simplifying the stuff inside the parentheses, canceling stuff out, right? Let's try this one more time. Similar, almost the exact same problem, to be honest. This time we just have different u and v values. You see here that u is 6x and v is 4x. And that's going to be for the top and the bottom, isn't it? So what I can do is this. I'm going to use, I'm not going to show this, but I'm going to use the sum to product formulas. I'm going to rewrite them first. Sine plus sine can be written as 2 sine u plus v all over 2. And then it's times the cosine of u minus v all over 2. There's the first one. On the bottom, I have cosine plus cosine, which can be rewritten using the sum to product formulas as 2 cosine 6x plus 4x all over 2 times the cosine of 6x minus 4x all over 2. That is equal to the tangent of 5x. Right? Same thing. Now, before I, you know what, before I even go any farther, you see this and you see this, those are going to go away, right? So I don't even need to simplify. Let's not even worry about it. The 2's are going to go away. So I'm going to go ahead and simplify those now. And I'm left with, on the top, sine of 10x all over 2. That's 5x. 
and the bottom I end up with cosine of 10x over 2 which is 5x that is equal to tangent of 5x that's correct sine over cosine is tangent therefore tangent of 5x equals tangent of 5x circle your answer verification is done